Hello everyone. This is Frequency Bone Summer Music Connection 10, video 10, The Art of the Student. So much has been talked about, hasn't there? And it's such a vast subject. And it's triggering me in so many different ways. So let's start at the level of what we would call technique. See, for me, as talked about before, technique is no different than the music. They're the same thing. In the end, they're the same thing. But sometimes we have to isolate. So they do, in a sense, have their own individual functions and identity. But in the end, they're an integrated something then they're, in, they're an integrated whole. And that's why the third overlay of the overlay system that you've heard myself and Dr. Carol Vieira talk about is called integration and in art. Where the first overlay, the machine, the second overlay, skill and choice, which is the driver of the machine, which has an automatic robotic system, come together Okay? In purpose. They're integrated. And so we start when we're working with people from integration and in art. Purpose. What's the reason? What's our purpose for doing what we do? Now, depending on the age, okay, this people think, well, you can't bring that up too much. Well, you can, in all sorts of ways. Isn't this a joy to do this? Let's see what we can create. You can say to someone, say that to someone who's nine and 10 and have fun going back and forth. You go, and you say, can you do that? And you say, okay, <laughs> or something, because they've never played before. You start introducing them to all the different parts. There's breathing, there's a lip, there's pitches, there's a slide, there's a mouthpiece, all this kind of thing. And there's an element of fun, an element of discovery. And that element of fun, of fun, love, discovery can be transferred to anybody at any age. Sometimes it gets harder because students at a certain age, from all the things they can hear now on YouTube and everything else, and all the recordings, and sometimes they think, well, no, here's the way I need to sound. So that already creates a block. And so then a student might come to someone like me, or I end up, or Dr. Vieira, or both of us, and I think, okay, we're skilled enough to help them start to dissolve that block, which is an art to doing that. And so they can start to feel themselves. Which is vital. So it's a giant subject. <laughs> but even the universe, as it's said, to know the universe, study man, study humans. To know man, the humans, study the universe. I'll let you think about that. But one of the things I was really thinking about today was someone can start to acquire a lot of different kinds of technique. There are techniques, not only we think of technique as a first overlay thing, but what about the techniques at the level of the second overlay? Which means, what's the nature of one's approach? 
to the mechanics. What attitudes are they having when they work on the mechanics? How do they assess their mechanics? Music and mechanics. As I said, if you're viewing it through integration and art, you can see each individual one. At the same time, when it's really happening, they're all unified. But sometimes, there seems to be a gap. How can we really integrate both of these, the mechanics and the music? So there's an integration in art. And this depends on an art of the second overlay. For the second overlay, the skill and choice needs to develop the skills of connection. The skills of connection to the purpose And this can happen at any age. Like anything else, there can be a growth and a maturity, so to speak, a development that the person who's 10 years old or nine year olds who's starting out, even though there's something in their instinct, can maybe grasp things that someone in college maybe cannot. Because the, sometimes the person in college is trying to get it just for the one part of their brain. And that's why the medium of inspiration, openness, joy, love, discovery, awe, appreciation, creates an atmosphere of more conductivity. In the end, much better than fear. The fear that someone should have, if they have to have one really, is that of wasting time. Because, like that, you'll be much older than you think. And you don't want to look at that and go, I wasted all that time? So it's a matter of balance. Be clear in what you want. I'm not saying don't have fun. I'm not saying do whatever you need to relax and rejuvenate. But if you're going to go to college and you're going to use your second overlay to just party, that's not a useful second overlay all right. It can damage your first overlay. Damage the machinery of your second overlay. And cloud your purpose and your destination of where at one time you might have envisioned yourself. Now that's interesting how that came out of me. And considering this is the 10th video, I can see where I would say that now, even though I did not plan on saying that. So, all sorts of techniques all sorts of techniques. The more you have discovery and you're doing certain things that your teachers have told you to do to build certain foundations, other teachers might come by and say, try it like that. And you go, wow, that doesn't work. 
Maybe you haven't played with it long enough. So don't throw out what you're doing, but be additive. This is a subtle art of the second overlay. Um, and an important one in order to keep changing can also mean growth. And sometimes when there is growth, sometimes there's difficulty and some people don't want to move through the difficult times. Graduate high school, yay, college, and then they go there and go, ooh, standards are different. <laughs> so that challenges their identity. I was the best in school. And then all of a sudden, they're not the best. This can happen to a lot of people. So again, stick closer to your love. Very, very important. Stick close to the love. Your reasons for doing what you're doing. But don't ignore what needs to be done on any of the overlays. But I was saying, such an important vehicle, the second overlay, your decision-making process, your skill and your choice. Realize that can go into the realms of connection. And there are so many different kinds of techniques. But this depends on what you allow yourself to be influenced or governed by. Playing with color. That's right. Want to call yourself an artist? Isn't it funny how we talk about tone colors? Play something thinking, I'm going to do something. I'm going to think of this little melody, and I'm going to think of it in a yellow. Now, granted, I have a strong connection to these colors, okay? But I'm just going to let myself feel it. And if you don't have an immediate connection to a certain kind of soft mid-yellow, then it's not for me, just by speaking about it, I can start to feel a change happen in me in my first overlay system. Because the first overlay, a lot of times, is governed by the second overlay. Most of the time we're used to feeling I have a stomach ache and then our second overlay gets screwed up. I need a Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> what if they have that anymore? I don't know. Give me a Tums. I can't think straight. My second overlay is messed up. So one does affect the other. That's why they're so intricately connected. Yet we can point to their individualities, can't we? So let's go to this. Plays this melody in yellow. Just a little bit. And now I'm going to change that to red. Fire engine red. Now I didn't let myself go actually as far as I could have on that because I kept the tempo basically the same. And I did that purposely. So now what about blue? Sky blue.
Wow. That I did not expect. Maybe because this room, <laughs> some of that, I just all of a sudden felt I could float away. Did not expect that. And so even if you have a relationship with a particular color, which is a frequency, it might not be what you think it would be all the time. I did not expect that. That says something. Maybe there was something about that vibe that that sky blue has that felt nourishing to kind of the compression I was feeling today. And that's why you want to discover something really interesting. Play with the different colors. Take a Bordoni or something, you know, that you like that's lyrical or something and play it in the different colors. Let yourself connect to the different colors. At least start with the colors of the rainbow or maybe just white, red, blue, yellow, green. But realize each one of those colors has different shades. So the more specific that you get, grass green, sky blue, sun yellow, same time, guess what? You're connecting to maybe aspects of nature. It'll lift your second overlay out of an academia mindset of something having to be so exact in a human-made way. So that was actually a mouthful already. And that opens up different techniques. How could it not? But you'll see how you're, whatever you're connected to will influence your first overlay and influence what part of your brain it'll deal with. Now, this is where we have to have Dr. V come on and she could explain what's happening in the brain. But just not the brain, because then the emotions get affected. Your instinct might get infected, your blood. I mean, this technique of knowing your machinery is incredible. So people talk about technique. I'll say, what kind? What kind of technique? And we've talked about this already. Use numbers. Isn't there a really different feeling if something is in two, rather than it's in, th in three? And especially if it's in a one. What about like something like five eight? Whether it's two three or three two or one four. <laughs> These are all different kinds of techniques. And they're each technique is connected to something. Play with the vowels. That's a technique. So my techniques and methods, because of making a connection with art, never stops opening up. It's infinite. So in order for the development to continue, I have to keep building my relationship. And a student does too. You have to update yourself with yourself. This is very important. And if you allow different things to come in thinking, oh, my playing's breaking down. No, maybe it needs another approach. But if you've never practiced other approaches, you might not have trained your first overlay and second overlay to be able to assess that. And that's a second overlay job, but sometimes the instinct, which is, there's all sorts of different kinds of instinct, but even at the level of first overlay, it might say, wow, I can't do this. And that might actually be the first overlay talking to you. How's that one? <laughs> If you can't start your car up in the morning, isn't that your car talking to you? And then you use your second order and say, ah, okay. Got a call, triple A.
fascinating, isn't it? I'm never not odd. See what it's like to play in the spring in the morning. Because I did the Mozart horn concertos once, and I made a relationship with each one of those concertos with a different season totally changed everything. So one of the great arts of the student is to early on connect your music with nature. How basic. You want to talk about basics? How basic is that? Someone says, a lot of people talk about make your sound like a brick. Okay. How about a tree trunk? Or a log? How about logs? I understand brick. And this one person I'll never forget came up to me years ago and said, you know what? I can't think of bricks. My teacher wants me to think bricks. And I can't, this is like 30 years ago. I can't think in bricks. I said, so don't. <laughs> There's many other shapes out there. Maybe that's just too heavy masculine kind of thing to think. And it doesn't make any difference if you're male or female. If I say it's too masculine, that's a certain kind of yin-yang. That's very yang. Yin is more female, and that can be in a male or a female person, okay? So she definitely needed to think something more rounded, more like a tube. And all of a sudden, it freed up a giant knot in her head, which was knotting up her first overlay. So when people say, oh, they have head problems, isn't it fascinating how that then upsets the first overlay physical body and conditions the robotic automatic systems? So now you can approach that, say, oh, if they, maybe they need a good massage and kind of get some of that tension out, maybe they'll be okay for a while as long as they start integrating that right away with a second overlay connection. So we just are looking into all sorts of things. And this is where art becomes very broad. It should be. It's art. It's simple. It's complicated. It's huge. It's teeny. And everything in between.